peace Good is morning, in everybody. Room. This is my view. It's a bit loud, though. But it's currently half six or six thirty-five, six forty, something like that. And we are heading to the Trevi Fountain again. It was too busy last night, so we couldn't get couldn't get quite good photos. So we are hoping we're gonna get a few good shots here and there. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, like I said, we're gonna go back to the Trevi Fountain. Get, take a few shots. Take a few shots. Take good photos. Not shot, 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 shot. It's a bit chilly at the moment. This is my fit for today. Just the simple neutral colors. Okay, we have to go now. Um, I hope it won't be too busy. You might see the Colosseum, but we'll talk about that later on. Okay, bye. <laughs> I'm gonna throw the coin and make it. 10 cents, darling, bro. You're the one who gave it to me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, guys, we're heading out again. Well, we're heading to the cafe. We're gonna look for one. So, see you guys. No remapo di toma, dame. No remapo. Sugar bay. Like you mean it. After our breakfast, we walked on the cobbled roads and historic streets of Rome to get to the Pantheon. And I'm glad we did because it was truly mesmerizing. As we take in the sights and sounds of this beautiful city, you'll see stunning architecture, charming piazzas, hidden cathedrals and even luxurious looking dessert places before finally arriving at the Pantheon. The Pantheon is one of the most magnificent structures in the world and can you believe this was built over 2,000 years ago? I've heard such good things about the interior too but unfortunately decided not to go in which I wish I did but there's always next time. We didn't go inside because I don't think we have time. This is our last day, so we want to utilize this day for everything. Everything apart from the Vatican City. Fortunately, we won't be able to see that because we won't have time. <laughs> okay, we're going to the forum now. Bye. Baby. Hey guys, we're just walking to the forum and we came across this. I guess I didn't really do too much, That's too much research. <laughs> oh my gosh! Wow! <laughs> Mike! Mike! Hey! Oh. Darling! Oi! Oh. <laughs> okay. 
guys. We are at <laughs> Venezia or something. This is so beautiful. We were just walking. No, darling, you're beautiful. <laughs> I'm just messing with this. How dare you? Forza Italia. The light. Ooh. <laughs> the beacon. The beacon has lit up. Wait, what's that thing in Lord of the Rings again? The beacon. The beacons have been a city. The beacon. The beacon is. I don't know. Darling, you were all my days. Okay, darling, you can come down now. <laughs> With that <paper. laughs> She's tired, guys. Why is the why is this so steep? Uh, Where's the scary from up there. Anyway, we are at the monument to Victor Emmanuel II, who was the first king of United Italy. And this place is huge. It's completely made of white marble, hence why it was so eye-catching. But the beautiful details and the statue in the middle is something you should marvel in. This entrance is completely free unless you want to go inside the museum or to the top of the building. Then you'll have to pay extra of course. But I thought that these views were perfect enough for us. Well, we are outside of it. We haven't gone in yet, but check out this view. It's amazing. And if you look here, look at the details on this on this wall. It's crazy. Damn, that attention to detail is unreal. <laughs> This is the Roman Forum, a breathtaking open-air museum that once hosted a vibrant political and social life. You can explore ancient ruins surrounded by majestic temples, marvel at the Tranquil Garden on Palatine Hill and immerse yourself in history. I got my tickets online from getyourguide.com that included access to the Forum, Palatine Hill and the Colosseum, which was £19.52 pence per person. But make sure you book way ahead of time as they do sell out quickly. So guys, our journey to the Colosseum is getting closer and closer. It's magnificent. Wow. I've always wanted to come to Rome since I was a little kid and... You're welcome. <laughs> let me just show you guys. There's the Colosseum. Wow. Finally, here it is, the magnificent Colosseum an iconic symbol of ancient Roman grandeur. This epic landmark takes you on a journey through ancient times where fierce gladiator battles and epic spectacles once ruled the arena. It's an absolute must-visit tourist attraction when you're in Rome to really soak up the mind-blowing history. This is the Colosseum up close and personal. Oh my god, look at the queue. Waiting to get in. We already have tickets, so hopefully this will go really quickly. <coughs> Guys, this is an absolute workout. <laughs> So many stairs again. <laughs>
guys, we've got tickets to go home. Because <laughs> I can't be bothered to walk home, so we're gonna get the bus. But it was such a good day today. I literally started my day at 5 a.m. So I'm a bit knackered. Started with the Trevi Fountain, then to the Pantheon. From there, we went to the Forum and exited towards the Coliseum. And I think we're just gonna go home and chill and then go out for dinner after. The bus is here. And it looks like the bus is here. Hey guys, we're back in the hotel. This is our room. Three, three, three. Ooh. Hi, how are you? So we're gonna chill. We're probably freshen up. I think I need to take my makeup off because it's, it's absolutely mucky. Oh, we were here. We're going to Travisteri to have dinner and we're just walking on this bridge right now and it just looks really pretty we took the taxi and he was gonna take us all the way around from there all the way here but then we've decided to walk because we wanted to see the scenery it would have been nice to see it during the day as well but this is just as lovely <laughs> <laughs> I am so full already. Look at my plate. Just waiting for him to finish. He's almost done. And he's full. <laughs> he's doing well though. Taking a break from my wine. Hail exhale, good job. Yeah. Well hey guys, he's decided to to surrender. <laughs> Can't do it anymore. No more. But I think he did pretty good. Look at that. One kilo, guys. One kilo of T-bone steak. Oh my goodness. That's dessert. Is that? No, no, no. Two sides. Two starters. Two starters. Oh yeah, two starters and two sides. We are so full. It was so good. Finished it in seconds. <laughs> Careful saving the wine glass. Some of these. Yummy. I don't know what they are. Mm, it's so funny.
are back at the hotel now and it is past midnight everything's closed and it's also Monday so not a lot of things will be open quite late I don't think not sure um, but we have an early flight tomorrow we are going to bed good night everybody we're going night. to bed good night say good night <laughs> anyway goodbye guys Oh, that's where the bus is. I'm gonna ask.